Hi, this is Don Casey, and thank you for listening to DS Tunes. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to DS Tunes. My name is Anna Bruns, and I will be your host. Today, I have a pleasure to talk to our general manager for MENA region, Amro Adel. Welcome, Amro. How are you doing? All well, Anna. Thank you very much. And welcome to Dubai as well. Thank you. Um, we're here at EDEC in Dubai. It is the most important exhibition for the MENA region. What are the goals for Dance Play Sirona this year? Well, see, um, EDIC for us is always um, a, a bridge that we are, uh, we're having here in the MENA region to just present ourselves in front of more than 7,000 audience that come and visit the, uh, the exhibition. Um, our goals this year is to launch first the Prime Mill, which is what we're privileged that we get the opportunity to uh, launch it uh, immediately after the global launch. Uh, secondly, we have also um, on our consumable side the uh, True Anatomy and the New Spectrum. Uh, we are pleased, uh, pleased also to have Dr. Marco Martignoni to, um, to come and present it to all the audience there. So um, idea is always that we come out with new innovations to, uh, to the MENA region. ADIC is always the uh, screen that we go and um, show ourselves in there. How is this year's meeting compared to uh, the previous years? Uh, last year, we, we can say it was not um, a successful one for us at least. Um, number of people that attended the, the uh, exhibition was not that high. But this year, since day one, we saw a different uh, momentum on people coming in. And so uh, this is the second day for us. And I can say that by far we have a very successful event now. Um, as you mentioned, this year you have invited tremendous speakers and key opinion leaders such as Marco Martignoni and uh, uh, Professor Ahmed Abdul Hakim. How important is it um, to work with QLs for, for the MENA region? Um, as part of our educational program, which is also, I assume, it's going to be a global, um, a global um, uh, thing that the company actually is looking at, uh, the presence of our QL supporting us on the stand or doing hands-ons um, related to uh, the exhibition is always a big plus for us. Um, adding that we had Dr. Marco Martignoni on the consumable side, we had Dr. Ahmed Abdel Hakim um, doing uh, a very nice, successful laser uh, hands-on. We do also had uh, Dr. Mohammed Hassanin uh, presenting for the first time the um, uh, the prime mill, along again demonstrating the Seric Prime Scan. So it's part of our portfolio every year that the people is expecting from then supply Serona Mina on who will be the list of the KOLs presenting our products or innovations in the stand. Mm, as you mentioned, we have introduced plenty of new products um, such as Serec Prime Mill, Tunatomy, Spectra ST, ProTaper IQ. What is the customer's feedback so far? Well, uh, if I take it one by one, uh, it will be, uh, I need an hour to talk about it. But I think uh, in general, the whole products portfolio, the new launch that we did was extremely um, uh, successful. Uh, the approach by the, um, the customers was really great. All the team uh, saw that the quality and the products that we are bringing this year is something that it was really appreciated by the uh, by the customers, either uh, existing users for Dent Supply Serona or uh, new leads. So I assume we are bringing some hot shots to the MENA this year. Yeah, yeah that's, that's great to hear. <laughs> Let's talk a, li a little bit about the MENA region. What are the biggest challenges uh, for me now? Yeah, it's, uh, I cannot say challenges, but I would say uh, some issues that we have, we are, we are living with, which is um, lots of people comes and talk about the political unrest that we have, which affect uh, the business more or less in some areas. But um, as I said, it's not a challenge. We are born in this region. We know what's going on. We do have the way how we bypass these you issues. You know how to handle it, exactly. right? Exactly. So, it, it, yes, it's a challenge when it comes to uh, reading in the news, but for us, um, we take it as a privilege to 
we we learn from it. Let's put it this way. So I believe um, I cannot say that the the, the region is not. Uh, we don't have challenges in the region, but at the end of the day, uh, life have to go on. Let's put it this way. Um, why is the MENA region important for the growth of dense fly Sirona? If I consider uh, a question that I'm, um, I'm, I need to focus on how we are in MENA um, uh, considered to be growing in uh, or, or considered as a gross area for dense supply Sirona, I consider this something really big and we are honored if we are considered to be part of the success of the company globally. Um, but MENA in general, we, um, we look at the number of inhabitants and we have and the uh, economical situations around and uh, the, as, we, as I mentioned before, the political unrest, but we still have uh, very successful records on our sales, uh, appreciation and uh, delivery of uh, good stuff to, um, uh, to the, our customers and uh, vice versa, that the customers are approaching us also in a very good uh, way. Uh, I can see that the MENA will be always playing a very big role in the success of, um, of the company. If I would say digital dentistry here is something going um, really aggressively and people are looking at it that this is the future of the dental industry. Um, as Dent Supply Sirona, they are focusing on digital dentistry now. So this is the area where we see the, the growth can happen. Uh, we'll keep on looking onto it and monitoring how it works uh, for both success, like the success of the company itself as Dent Supply Sirona and also our region. And I believe uh, we will always um, be successful pushing the industry towards this part as long as again uh, our company is focusing on it and um, making our people happy to be part of this company for sure that's a very positive vision <laughs> don casey visited the dubai office a um, couple of months ago um, how was the visit and, and what did you discuss only i'm just asking only in case uh, you, you can share with us <laughs> No, really, uh, it, um, it, I can describe it in one word. That was a real vibe. I mean, um, uh, we, we were thinking, uh, l let me put it this way, and I hope people understand what I'm trying to say. A CEO is coming to visit one of the legal entities for a company. So everybody was coming, you know, like the formalities, how things will work and how we will, we will talk to the CEO of a, of a global company as in the size of Dent Supply Sirona. But honestly, uh, Don give uh, a very, very, very positive impression to each and everyone. Um, they like the way how he approached them. He is a really, I mean, I mean, I consider a CEO have to be a people manager or a people guy. And I see Don is a people guy. He understands exactly how to talk to people. Um, he left the whole company in, in, or the whole office uh, thinking about when he can come back to generate more positive energy in the office. Uh, and me personally, I was impressed with, maybe the first time for me I sit with the CEO uh, uh, and talk. Maybe, uh, yeah, we, ha we, 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 we had a couple of CEOs before and we, we shake hands and so, but the first time to see a CEO sitting for like in a room and discuss uh, how the business can grow and so on and talk to our people. So, uh, no, I can, I can consider Don was uh, don't visit, let's put it this way, uh, was uh, really positive for Mina. Um, knowing also uh, in the media that uh, CEO of Dent Supply Sirona visited the region also affected us that much, that the focus from the top management also for Mina region is really um, something that they are looking at. Um, in what we discussed with Don, yeah, let's keep it secret anyway. <laughs> <laughs> now we, we definitely discussed the uh, how we can grow our business and uh, which which products we have to focus on and how we can we're gonna uh, make our team and either managers or salespeople focus on growing uh, the then supply Sirona portfolio in the MENA region. Uh, he have a full understanding on what we're actually looking at, and um, yeah, I think um, I am personally looking forward to having one more time in MENA. It will be a pleasure as well. Perfect. So it sounds like it was really very motivating for the whole team, right? And fun. And fun. I mean, CEO to bring fun to the office. I'm, I'm really happy with the impression. Really happy with the impression. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah I, saw, I saw the pictures on Facebook and it looked like really fun and uh, at a good time. I mean, you can imagine if uh, the whole team was going around trying to take pictures with him. Like, uh, I felt the celebrity mood in with everybody. And, and, and I see some of our guys was putting on their um, uh, uh, phone uh, uh, the picture of him with the CEO. I mean, this is, yeah, this is something I, I, I really praise Don for. Um, yeah, what trends do you are you seeing in MENA in general when it comes to innovation in dentistry? See, the market by itself is a um, uh, is a sophisticated market. Not not in the manner of that the market is um, uh, is not responding to innovations, but we really need to go to the market in a in a very professional way to capture what what the company looks for. Uh, we have very highly educated dentists around. We have a very um, high competition as well. Um, all the companies, even dealers, we have very good dealers that they are trying to um, be in a standard how a corporate or a principal can work. So this sophistication make us, you know, in a privilege, try to be challenged to be the number one company here. So in MENA, Dent Supply Corona is recognized on innovation for sure. Uh, we try to participate in all the conferences and bring all our KOLs and so. So I think this is one of the things that um, uh, we are um, like delivering in MENA rather than any other competitors. Uh, uh, I think innovation would be always our slogan in the MENA region anyway. Yeah. Innovation and I assume also clinical education. So um, how has the team driven clinical education in MENA? Again, I will come back to the same uh, phrase I said at the beginning, that um, Dent Supply Sirona is all about education. If we are a like, company that focuses only on sales, I don't think we'll be taking the rank that we are in now. People understand that sales, yes, we are looking at sales for sure. It's a company, an investment, and we need to, need to sell. But education is part of the, um, or let's say, one side of the triangle where the Dent Supply Sirona team is focusing on. Uh, with the vision of the CEO and the the uh, the top management we really need to look at education in this way so our team we have the i mean a very nice team of clinical educators um, product level knowledge on a very high level and i believe the job that they are doing is really surpassed so uh, uh, we'll keep on going doing the same clinical education will be always part of our portfolio delivering it to many regions Let's talk a little bit about you. <laughs> you have been with the company for 15 years by now. Yep. What keeps you motivated every day? That's a, it's, it's not a hard question because uh, being in a company for 15 days, uh, 15 years, and you are like, um, um, let's say, seeing yourself growing in there. I started in a company as a sales manager for an area in, 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 in the MENA region. Then I became an area manager for... Uh, another area, then now I'm the GM of the whole MENA. Um, if you look at it, this is how uh, it's two sides of, of a story here. The company looked at you that you can you can do or deliver what you need to be, what the company wants. And on the other hand, I was looking at how I can make the company look at us as delivering message to uh, to our uh, clients in the market. So fun, yes, it's lots of fun. Lots of stress, for sure, comes with fun. That's, sure, like, uh, that's why it's balanced. Um, challenges, and I'm, I'm, I love challenges. And I think uh, it's all about the team that you work with as well. So um, uh, without them, I would never been always uh, growing as I'm trying and also to grow. So 15 years in the company is, uh, for me, is not a long time at all. I told uh, my team before, uh, if every day you come to your office and you feel it's the new day in the company and you want to present yourself, there is no, you cannot get bored. You have to give the maximum you can do. I think um, that's why I'm here in Dent Supply Store for 15 years. Wow. Congratulations on those 15 uh, years anyway. I appreciate it. I'm, <laughs> I'm proud as well. I'm really proud. Um, what what was your biggest learning in that time? Being yourself. This is uh, what I can say. 
company gives you um, I remember when I came in uh, I was managing everything for, by myself in the region the management trusted you so uh, the word being yourself was always uh, the motive going around if you ask I want to do this like do it yourself you can do it uh, this motive actually made you who you are and uh, made my name so uh, I think uh, what I gained from Den Supply Salona is how uh, to trust uh, each other. So I, I trusted now, the company trusted me and I trust I trusted the company. Then now I'm doing the same, I'm trusting my team and they trust me. So it's not something that you can find it anywhere. So I, I need to thank the company for doing this. Yeah, yeah I, I saw it today. Like yeah. you deal with your team and you deal with your customers, you are... Um, a celebrity yourself no. so it's not only Don being a celebrity it's also Amro being a celebrity so uh, yeah you're delivering you're delivering what 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 actually gained I mean I have to believe I mean you have each and every one of us have his own character but the good thing to do is like uh, if if you have a company that wants to develop you and you really catch on this and you develop yourself in the right direction um, I have to give the credit for the company uh, for uh, bringing the level who I am so that's that's something I, I, I really thank Dan Supply Salona for You are a dentist by profession and you hold a degree in uh, dental science and a master degree in periodontics If you had a dental office, how would it look like? Well, I escaped dental offices uh, almost 15 years ago, so <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll, 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 it's it's very simple. When when I was uh, practicing as a dentist, I was um, like dentistry was not as nowadays for sure. I mean, we uh, I'm graduated 19, in 1986. When I get the the master degrees, it was 1993. Uh, that was long time ago, and dentistry was all about how to preserve a tooth, not how to make like the aesthetics and the smile and the, the digital dentistry, which is something nobody would believe that it would happen one day in the dental dental industry but if i was doing dentistry now for sure i would um, always follow the path of where the industry is going so definitely digital dentistry will be one of the things that i need to focus on and at the end of the day you need to deliver the beauty of the dental itself i mean it's not only about practicing dentistry but there is a beauty behind which is how you see the smile coming to the patient and how you make him feel that he don't have to cover his mouth talking or or uh, looking in his mirror and say like I can be better on this not not in a way that people understand that he went to a dentist but try to make it as much as natural as possible so i would if i would be back to dentistry I'm not going to be back to dentistry, by the way. Right? <laughs> I, I love what I am, and I think um, uh, being in the industry, focusing on dentist, uh, doing what I need to do if I had my practice, is something I, I, I love to do. So, um, But anyhow, I see that the, uh, the dental industry now uh, is definitely by far much better than the days I was graduated. Uh, I'm a periodontist, yes, but uh, at that time we lasers were not even existing. So now imagine how we, how the people working with periodontists. But um, yeah, I would be happy to be one day in a court, only one day, right? Trying myself on a, on a, on the stool and um, uh, treating patients on the chair. Definitely, I will use the tineo for sure, and I will have the T1 handpiece uh, working on patients. I will use the CEREC to take the impressions. Then, for sure, I would use the, my zirconia or my celtra to, uh, to do the crowns. Um, if there is any small fillings, I will be happy to use all the dent supply uh, serona consumables. So, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. It's good to hear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you come originally from Egypt. What do you miss from your home country? Culture. I think the Egyptian uh, culture itself is too rich and um, uh, I really miss it being too much away it's living away from from the country uh, although when I come back I think the also what I gained being over overseas and not when I were really or working abroad uh, enriched also my knowledge and my understanding on how I can deal with things uh, better being in this in a country for all my life so both ways works but culture in Egypt is something that I really miss Yep. I've heard you're a big football fan. <laughs> What is your favorite team? 
Well, uh, I was a professional soccer player before, yes, um, till the age of 18. And um, uh, the team I played with locally in my country is the same team that I'm still following now when I'm 50, 55 years old. Um, my team locally is Al Ahli, which is the main, main famous team in, uh, in Egypt. Then if I look at uh, whom I'm supporting now uh, uh, on an international level, for sure comes to be uh, Mo Salah is playing in Liverpool. So Liverpool is my uh, my. Uh, my team that I support uh, overseas, yeah. So, um, what do you do when you want to relax, of course, besides watching sports? Watching sports. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. Amro, thank you so much for, for this interview, for finding time. I know it is a challenge because you have lots of customers who want to talk to you and also your team needs you. So thank you once again and all the best for EDEC and for the MENA region. Shukran. Thank you very much. And I, uh, at, again, it's a pleasure to have you with us, Anna, and uh, looking forward to have you always in EDEC. Thank you very much, Anna. Thank you.